hear some special thoughts on Salonetti from Steve Alvarez and Bob Palmer. March 30th, 1989. The news couldn't have been worse. Doctors told Salon Essie he had inoperable stomach cancer. Unfortunately, I, I mean, I wish I could, but I can't tell you he has a 50-50 chance or it's a 60-40 chance or a 70-30 chance because when you're dealing with something that's this rare, um, everyone, everyone responds differently. And, uh, you know, if, if there's a one in a hundred chance, you know, he might be that one. He was, of course, emotional. He left the room shortly after the doctor had given him the diagnosis, returned to his room, spent some time with his family, uh, and then spent about 15 minutes alone with Coach Mack, uh, after which I went in and spoke with him, and he was uh, very handling the situation very maturely. So instead of preparing for his senior season as the Buffs' starting quarterback, Salonessi began his battle against cancer. Doctors started him on chemotherapy. <laughs> Essie took over the starting quarterback role in the third game of the 1987 season as a sophomore against Washington State. His finest moment came on September 17, 1988. His one-yard run capped an 85-yard drive as the Buffaloes rallied to beat 19th-ranked Iowa. It proved once again that Salad Essie was a leader. his battle with cancer, Onesi remained a leader, demonstrating great courage. He was an inspiration to his teammates. Well, the mood was pretty much high spirit. You know, Sal so wouldn't want us being depressed. And so, you know, we're keeping him in our prayers and praying for him every day. But we're just going out here, we're thinking about him, and we just want to enjoy it. We're dedicating the season to him. Last April, he was at the annual spring game, and he made a promise to his teammates then. God bless you. See you next year. This fall, he kept his word, visiting with his teammates during several practices and watching all three of their games so far this season. Even though he was in the stands, he wasn't forgotten by the players on the field. On the Buffs' first series against Illinois last Saturday, Jeff Campbell caught a bomb for 73 yards. The crowd at Folsom Field went wild, but Jeff Campbell blocked it all out. He was waiting for a signal from his teammate in the stand. He's still that inspiration that everybody looks up to. He's the kid that brought this team together last year. Afterwards, the network announcer named Sal and Essie the player of the game for his inspiration. He is gone now, but certainly not forgotten. And any greatness the CU Buffs reach this season, Sal and Essie is a part of that. He is and forever will be a Colorado Buffalo. I've been fortunate to, to be able to know a person like Sal and Essie, you know, to, to get close to him and know how he is and his, uh, his strong heart and his motivation. And so I feel very fortunate even to even know a guy like Sal. you won your town the race, we cheered you through the marketplace. Man and boys stood cheering by, and home we brought you shoulder high. Today, the road all runners come, shoulder high, we bring you home, and set you at your threshold down, townsman of a stiller town. Smart lad to slip the times away from fields where glory does not stay. And early though the laurel grows, it withers quicker than the rose. Eyes the shady night has shut, cannot see the record cut. And silence sounds no worse than cheers, after earth has stopped the ears. Now you will not swell the rout of lads that wore their honors out. Runners whom renown outran, and the name died before the man. So set before its echoes fade, the fleet foot on the sill of shade, and hold to the low lintel up the still defended challenge cup. And round that early laurel head will flock to gaze the strengthless dead and find 
unwithered on its curls the garland briefer than a girl's